Monday on the MMA Hour, Anthony Smith revealed that he did agree to face Alexander Rakic on December 18th, but he was forced out of the fight due to injury. Now, merely hours after Blahovic lost his title to Glover Teixeira at UFC 267, the promotion offered Smith a fight against the former champ. Sounds like we got someone else. I'm kind of liking this Jan Blahovic fight. They brought it to me that night. He wants to fight again. He wants to fight soon. I'm not crazy injured. I'm just dealing with little stuff and an infection. As long as we can get the infection cleared, I don't think February is out of the question. What do you guys think about a Smith vs. Blahovic matchup? Would you like to see that fight? Let us know in the comments section. According to his management team, Conor McGregor is reportedly recovering well ahead of schedule from his broken leg. Speaking to MMA journalist Chisanga Mulata, McGregor's manager Audi Attar said that the Irishman is well on his way to his recovery and the proof is in the way that he moves. Here's a tweet. When I spoke to Audi Attar a couple weeks ago, he said Conor McGregor was ahead of schedule in his recovery from his broken leg. The way he's moving and putting weight on the leg, albeit not the full extent, is a testament to that fact. McGregor also posted new training footage as he prepares for his UFC return. First time back on the pads, what a buzz. Let's go team, at McGregor Fast. Like my good friend Schwarzenegger says, I'll be back bitches, back with a vengeance. Thank you to all my doctors and my team for getting me this far, so soon after surgery. There is work to be done, but doing work is what I'm known for. Strap yourselves in for the greatest comeback in sports history. Hashtag champ champ pay per view billionaire king. Last Saturday, Islam Makachev defeated Dan Hooker, who is a longtime teammate of UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya. Ahead of UFC 267, Adesanya said that he'll bet his money on Dan Hooker to win the fight against Makachev. Now, a few days after his impressive victory, Makachev trolled Adesanya for him predicting that Hooker would win the fight. He wrote this on his Twitter. At Stylebender, hey bro. How much you lose? Just days after celebrating his 42nd birthday, Glover Teixeira finally realized his dream to become champion after tapping out Jan Blahovic in the second round in the UFC 267 main event. On Monday, Glover went back to his adopted hometown of Danbury, Connecticut, where he got a beautiful hero's welcome. Here's the clip.
Hamzat Chimaev made his highly anticipated return to the octagon Saturday at UFC 267 where he submitted Li Jingliang in the first round. Speaking on the Weighing In podcast, Big John McCarthy and Josh Thompson discussed who in the UFC could give Hamzat problems at 170 and predicted how he would compete against Wonderboy, Leon Edwards, and top players like Covington and Usman. Here's the clip. He's gonna, okay, so I think he'll have a little bit of a problem with um with uh gilbert burns <clears throat> we're gonna see feet on the feet i think i think he's got better stand-up than gilbert he's what gilbert he can does do. he's way longer about same you know, yep. power wise i think they're close i think they both have power mm -hmm. but and he's way longer and gilbert's gonna have to be reaching to get to him and gilbert is not gonna be able to just take him down he's gonna have to hit him with a shot yeah. that hurts him. How about someone like uh, a Stephen Thompson or a Chiesa? They give him any problems? You think? I don't. I'm just being honest. I, I, I think Stephen Thompson gives everyone a little bit of problems based upon he's different than everyone else, and, mm -hmm. and it could be that you know he could keep Shamaya from you know taking him down right away. But <clears throat> Shamaya's going to get that takedown. He's going to get it yeah. because he's fast. He's going to. What about the it. speed of someone like Leon Edwards? That's a question mark. I don't know. But after watching what Leon had happen with Nate Diaz, not being able to get rid of Nate in that, come on, you got to be honest. I think no matter what, he has a hard time with Col Colby Covington and uh, what's his name, Usman. We'll see. Covington, Covington may just press the pace. I don't. I look, I haven't seen him go very long. I yeah. haven't seen him do three <laughs> rounds yet. So I, I don't. I can't tell you how he'll do against somebody in a barmer of a five round fight. Oh no, so. we'll find out somewhere along the way. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.